Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Andrea Chisama. Victoria Mutual Building Society VMBS has bolstered its data protection structure to prevent another breach. Earlier this year, the names, home addresses, TRNs and equity account numbers of over 5,000 customers were included in an email sent to just under 200 customers. Chief Executive Officer Courtney Campbell says stricter measures are now in place. We have since implemented restrictions to prevent mass emails to a list of recipients. Emails are now screened as part of our data loss prevention mechanism to identify information which should not be released and to hold the data for the next level approval. The company has completed its review and is now in the process of aligning its practices with international standards. Uh, engaged the best external consultants to provide independent expertise in reviewing our information security protocols. We have actually already received their report and are now implementing the recommendations. In fact, we are aiming at the relevant ISO certification that would confirm our compliance with standard 27001, which has to do with information security management. The Office of Utilities Regulation, OUR, is expanding the scope of its investigation into the Jamaica public service company, JPSCO. This follows a request from Energy Minister Favel Williams for the regulator to do a billing audit on the light and power company. The OUR says an investigation began in April this year, prompted by an increase in complaints of high electricity bills. The regulator will now broaden its probe to include the request of the Energy Minister. Caribbean Airlines suffered a 14.2 million US dollar loss in six weeks due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The estimated losses were racked up from March 23 to April 30. Although air travel was restricted, Caribbean Airlines was still required to maintain its operating systems. The company admitted it was very costly to keep the airline going while the fleet was grounded. Currency trading ended today with the U.S. dollar selling for $140.06, the Canadian dollar $106.14. The pound is going for $177.28, while the euro closed at $160.58. The JSE index lost 3,134 points today and the junior market index is down 46 points. Among the winners, Access Financial Services, The Lab, First Rock Capital Holdings Jamaican Dollar Shares, Jetcon Corporation and First Rock Capital Holdings US Dollar Shares. On the losing side were Key Insurance, Indis Pharma, Jamaica Stock Exchange, 1834 Investments and Express Catering. And that's it for the Business Day. I'm Andrea Chisholm. Good evening.